Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today to uh, do something a little different. I'm actually upstairs today in my kitchen and I have um, set up a few things here to stain some paper. So I've been wanting to stain some paper, um, not using coffee or tea, but uh, using some natural ingredients. And I was online, and I wish I could remember where I got this from, but um, we'll go through this together. Uh, but I found some instructions on uh, how to stain or dye uh, paper using some uh, vegetables, actually, and spices. So today we're going to be using some uh, red cabbage here and this is what it looked like when I sorry I'm holding the camera with my hand and I don't know how well this is all going to go but it's, it's dark here too now so I hope this video is okay but so I bought a red cabbage and um, the first line of the instructions says to wear gloves and I suggest you do because um, it turns your hands quite purple <laughs> uh, so um, red cabbage is the first thing that we're going to use and then, um, and that would probably make like a sort of purplish tone, give your paper like a purple tone. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then uh, for like a green sort of look to your paper, uh, they suggest using spinach or um, I think parsley, green parsley was the other thing. But I have spinach here today and I just um, took out two cups of that. And so, so uh, according to the directions, we're going to be using uh, two cups of whatever ingredient you have. And then to every two cups of the ingredient, you need uh, two cups of uh, sort of very hot water, almost boiling water. And then um, I think the only other thing that we're going to sort of put in there is uh, a tablespoon of salt. And then the last thing I wanted to try was uh, a spice, so some turmeric. Uh, I would like to give some paper a sort of um, yellowish tone. So we'll see how that goes. And that's just my salt there. And the one thing I forgot to bring up actually was some cheesecloth. Sorry, my camera died and I had to bring the plug up. So, um, yeah. So there you go, wear some gloves. You'll need uh, two cups of very hot water to every two cups of raw material. If using a spice such as turmeric, add one or two tablespoons of the spice to every two cups of hot water. Um, so there's the cabbage, the parsley that we spoke about. We're gonna blend, uh, blend the mixture together until it becomes a very fine slurry. And then um, when it's done being blended, we are going to strain it through some cheesecloth, um, which I forgot to get. Uh, it's downstairs now. And then um, dissolve one tablespoon of salt into the liquid. So that'll be like the very last thing that we do. Um, so here it says, and I believe there was a video and the, the lady um, actually saved her liquids in glass jars. I guess to use whenever she wanted. I don't know how long it lasts, but um, I just wanted to do some tonight to see how it works out. Okay guys, um, so I got my cheesecloth um, here. And um, so we'll use that a, a little later. So uh, I think I'm gonna start off with the red cabbage because I got it in my measuring cup here already. So I'm just using my I have a Ninja Bullet, I think it's called a Bullet, I'm not too sure, but you can use any blender. I'm pretty sure anything like that will work just fine. So I'm going to pour two cups of this red cabbage into my uh, Bullet here. And then I'm going to get my kettle. I'm sorry, I hope this isn't too jiggly because, like I said, I'm using one hand. Um, I'm just going to switch hands here. Just going to grab my kettle. I kind of sort of boiled the water. And um, so we're going to put in two cups here. 
thickener. All right, and we're gonna pour it into the blender here. I'm gonna put the lid on and then I'm gonna um, just turn it on here. It's gonna be noisy for a second and then I may even just sort of um, skip along through the noisy bits so that you don't have to, to listen to it, okay? So here we go. Okay, so I've now blended it. And we're gonna have a look in here and see how it looks. What a beautiful color that is. Um, it's very hard to tell right now, sorry. Uh, it's purple. So uh, what I'm going to do is grab my cheesecloth and I will put the cheesecloth sort of over top like this. And you know what I think I should probably do is get an elastic or something. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should get a last, an elastic band because um, I don't know. Oh, well, because that. <laughs> I don't want it to. Okay, one second. I'm going to grab an elastic band. Okay, guys. So all I did now was um, I just put an elastic band around the cheesecloth still on my uh, measuring cup there because as you saw um, everything sort of fell in and we don't want that so i'm just tapping this blade off here okay and i'm just going to pour this into here I'm wondering if I could have blended this up a little more. Um, okay. And two cups really makes a lot. You know, I wondered if I wonder if I put more water um, in this that I've already blended once, if I can still make more liquid. Well, for the interest of time, we'll just um, use this, and then I can try that off camera. All right, so I'm just gonna leave what's in here now. Okay guys, so what I did now, just sort of off camera there, was um, I s took the cheesecloth off and I s squeezed it out really good. And um, I almost ended up with two cups here. I probably would have ended up with two cups because I left a whole bunch in here still. And now I have a giant disaster. <laughs> um, but, uh, just for the interest of time and the fact that I can't wait, I just want to see what this looks like. Um, I'm going to leave it like this. So now the only thing that we have to do is add or dissolve one tablespoon of table salt into the liquid. So uh, one tablespoon of salt and I'm just going to add it to our mixture here. And I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm just going to give it a stir. And let that dissolve. And I'm going to pour it into this tray here because I'm going to need... Um... Wow, can you see that color? so pretty 
Okay, so I'm just going to uh, clean up a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll blend up the, the spinach for um, some green liquid. Okay, one second. Okay guys, we're back now. I tried to tidy up a little bit. Uh, so now we're going to put um, two cups of spinach into the blender here. Let me switch hands. Just in there. And there's a little bit more in here. There's our purple mixture just sitting there waiting to get some paper put into it. Um, okay, so there's the spinach. I got my two cups of um, hot, almost boiling water ready here. So we're just going to dump that in. Okay, and then I'm going to try to put the top back on here. Okay, and I'm going to give it a blend um, and let's see what happens. Okay, so I think that that's pretty well blended. And I love this color. Uh, green is my favorite color. <laughs> and um, this is a beautiful color. Just there. So um, again, I'm just going to take my uh, cheesecloth. Oh, let's see if I can go over here and put it around my measuring cup here. Okay, so I got the elastic put on just around my measuring cup here so that I could pour the liquid into there. And now I'll just grab the liquid here and pour it. I hope this works. It's a little bit of work um, to get prepared. Uh, the ingredients, I mean, are relatively inexpensive. I mean, it was probably what a couple but a couple of butts, <laughs> a couple of bucks <laughs> for the. Um, oh, it's getting late. Uh, the red cabbage, and I mean, a bag of spinach really doesn't cost that much. A couple of dollars. Um, so, I mean, if it doesn't work, I don't think I'm going to shed tears, but, uh, you know, the work that you put into it and the time is what kind of counts. So, we shall see. Let me just grab my spoon here. I hope this goes better than my attempt at um, eco dyeing paper. I don't know how you ladies do it, but not my thing. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I probably just didn't try hard enough. Um, but I admire those of you who, who did it and it succeeded because the paper turns out so beautifully. Okay, come on. It's getting quite full. Sorry, I hope this doesn't gross some of you out. I mean, it's not that attractive looking, but um, it's all natural, so. Um, okay. Right, I'm just going to get this little last bit in there and then I'm going to squeeze out this cheesecloth. I think that's about it. Okay, I'm going to uh, put the camera down. I'm going to um, collect up the cheesecloth. I'm going to sort of wring it out, the liquid into here, and then uh, I'll be right back and we can pour it into the tray. All right, so there's our liquid. Now, um... And we're going to put our tablespoon of salt in there. Whoop. And give it a quick stir. Okay. 
just to make sure it's dissolved. Would you guys like some? <laughs> it looks kind of gross. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to pour it into the tray here. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, um, because I can't, I have nowhere to put my uh, camera right now, I will, um, what will I do? Okay, I'm going to dip a few pieces of paper in the purple one first. I'll show you what it looks like. I turned on my um, oven. That's probably the sort of fan that you could hear going in the background. And um, just to make it a little more quick, it's cold here in Canada. Um, I don't really have anywhere else to dry it right now. So I just quickly turned on my oven uh, really, really low. And um, I'll quickly bake a few pieces and then I'll show what it looks like once it's dry. So let me dip a couple of pieces of paper now and I'll show you what it looks like before I put them in the oven. Okay guys, so here's um, the purple red cabbage liquid. And now I've dipped a couple of pieces of paper and now I don't know if you can see um, the color at all, but it almost has like um, sort of a denim blue jean kind of tone to it. I don't know. So that's wet right now. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for a couple minutes and then um, I'll come back and show you what it looks like dry. As well, the um, purple paper there is in the oven. I decided to show you. Uh, so you can see the green there. This one I've kind of already um, soaked. And then here's another one underneath. So you can see the green, how beautiful it is. So um, I'm going to get that on a tray and into the oven and then I'll be able to show you hopefully what, how they both turn out, okay? And then we'll quickly just move on to the turmeric and see what happens if we have time. Just uh, finished um, dyeing some of these papers and as you can see here, this is the wax paper that I used uh, for my baking um, sheet. And I'm going to keep it because it looks really neat. That's the purple one. And then I have the green one here. So pretty. So I was able to do quite a few. Um, so the um, red cabbage came out more like a purple and blue tie dye. It's kind of, you know, splotchy, uneven. I'm not too sure what happened um, here. So I had my oven set to, I think about 250 or so. I have a convection oven, so um, like I get heat all the way around. Um, so normally I don't have a problem, but the color is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Like some of the, this light blue is really pretty, but they're all different. And, um, you know, I couldn't really see myself using these in my journals as much because um, they're, you know, a lot brighter than I normally um, use because I, I like vintage and coffee stained and tea stained. But um, and these are pretty. I'm going to use them, but a um, little, you know, a little more purple than I kind of like. Uh, nonetheless, I made a bunch and I, I really do like them. They are beautiful. But my favorite has to be the um, spinach um, dye. Um, the green came out so beautifully on here. And I wish I had better light. It's dark. So um, I'm trying to find a better place, but there isn't. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was able to make a bunch of those too. I'm going to have to press them or, you know, something to get them to be a little bit flatter. But um, you're not really going to be able to see how nice that green is, I don't think. But um, but I love it. Um, the green one was my favorite. So, uh, yeah. So I got a couple more in the oven now. And that's going to be it for that. I am going to... Just pop over to the other side of the kitchen here and we are going to try that the turmeric. 
Okay guys, so um, I'm now going to try the turmeric. So I have my um, two cups of really hot water there and I was um, filling up my tablespoon of spice over my water so some fell in. <laughs> That's what that is. So, um, so here's the rest of it and it's probably a little more than a tablespoon but um, it says you could use one to two tablespoons and I guess it just depends on how you know, dark you like your paper to be. And we can also add some more water. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Other thing is, is that it, um, in the other liquids that we made, we added salt. I'm not sure really if I'm supposed to uh, add salt to this or not, <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna stir this up. And I think I'm going to still, I'm going to add some salt. I think the salt is really to preserve your liquids if you want to um, sort of keep them in a jar. But I, I can't be 100% sure on that. Um, so I just did what the direction said and added it anyways, even though I didn't keep um, any remaining liquid that I had. The other thing with this turmeric is please be mindful of your countertops. If you have um, granite or stone or anything like that on your countertops and you sort of leave this liquid um, sitting on it, it, it could stain. So it, it is very, very potent stuff, very, very strong. So um, just, just be mindful of that because I wouldn't want anything to get ruined. Um, so I'm just going to add some salt. Why? I have no idea, but <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Just going to stir it. I probably could have used a little bit of hot, hotter water there, but it's okay. All right, I'm going to pour it into my tray and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'll uh, dip a few pages and heat, uh, heat them. I'll um, Bake them in the oven, and then as soon as that's done, I will show it to you, okay? So we're gonna pour this into here. I'm hopeful for this color, um, but we'll see. Smells good. It's making me hungry for some food now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put some papers in and heat them up and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so um, this is the turmeric paper and now oh, again with this lighting, um, it's going to be hard to see but it really is a beautiful sort of pale oran uh, orangey yellow and uh, I really love it, um, quite beautiful. I would suggest though uh, that just through my experience just now that um, you really use almost, uh, I would say boiling water for this because it takes a long time for the turmeric to dissolve and I found it pretty grainy. In fact, when I dried some of the papers, they did have like dry sort of a spice on it still. <laughs> So I had to brush it off, you know, but um, I think that just comes with, you know, using natural things. So all in all, I think this was a great experiment for me. Um, I love the turmeric. I love the color of this one. However, I much more prefer um, avocado or beets. I really had great success with um, beets and the colors came out like beautiful, a beautiful pale pink, which um, I was kind to, kind of hoping to achieve a little more. Um, however, I mean, the color is beautiful, no denying it. Just probably wouldn't use that as much. And then by far my favorite would have to be the spinach. I will certainly do this again. Um, I, I just love the color. It's pale, it's beautiful, and then I can fit that into um, any of my projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different. I'm sorry that it might be dark and you can't really see um, the colors too well, but uh, it is 10 o'clock here now at night. And um, 
I have every kitchen light on, so <laughs> I apologize for that. But I hope you enjoyed this and uh, maybe give it a try. Maybe um, find, you know, some natural things or things around your house that you might be able to use. Um, I, plants and vegetables obviously are your best option. And, um, you know, it's natural and, and it's fun and the papers come out beautiful. So uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Put them down in the comments below. Let me know what you think and uh, hope you guys are all taking care and staying safe. And we will talk to you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.